Hello everyone, my name's Gerd. If you couldn't guess by the title of this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can set up the ragdolls in my Unity package. So, to do this, you're going to have to watch the other video how to set the rider up. And if you're not going to be using this model, then you're going to need to know how to um, set up a ragdoll and have your own character set up with a ragdoll. So, when you have those two things done, I'm just going to go into this new scene to set up a bike with a ragdoll. So I'm just going to drag in here a bike with a rider, which is where you'd be at the end of the other video with all the like hand and feet positions set up. And then I'm just going to unpack the prefab and then also delete this guy that we've got on here now. And then so here in the riders folder, I've got this ragdoll rider, which is the ragdoll that I've got set up. And then I'm just going to roughly move it to where he's going to be sitting. And then what I'm going to do now is just unpack this as well. And then put it as a child of the Super Mario. And so now with this done, so in the other video we don't have a hip IK script set up. So that's something you need to put on here. And then have a chain length of one. And then right click on it, create an empty. And then just call it hip pause. And put it as a child of the supermoto and I'm just going to put it under the head follow position and then so when that's done just click on the hip and drag that in there and then also on the parent of the ragdoll or the um, of the model add in the ragdoll manager script and then so now we're just going to go and fill in the rest of the IK scripts with the follow and pole positions so here on the head end we've got this head follow position here so I'm just going to drag that in and then also on the right hand under the wheels and steering we've got this right hand position right hand pole and then the left hand we've got the left hand position and the left hand pole and then finally we just got the two feet to do which is under the feet pause here so we've got the left foot position the left foot pole and then Finally, for the right foot, just the right foot position and pole. So now when that's done, what we're going to need to have is a on the colliders trigger to collider script on the ones that you want to cause a crash. So here I've got it on the belly. I've added this collider in myself, and then also for the head, I'm going to add one in here. So just um even though it's underneath the other one, but just to show you the um, trigger to collider. And then I'm also going to do it on the chest, which is over here. So I'm just going to add a trigger to collider as well for this. And then also I'm going to have on this script an array that you can add the tags on because we don't want it to be triggered when we hit any of these colliders on the bike. So what I'm going to do is select these, put it as player, because that's the one I've got hard-coded in at the moment. And then, so now when that's done, if we drive forward, you'll see that we can collide with it already. And so I'm just going to add on the main camera a third-person camera script. And then get it to follow this chest bit. And then also, I'm just going to minimise that all down create an empty and then just add in the keyboard shortcuts and then put on the super motor here so now you'll be able to see when we drive around we crash and then we press F and then you can respawn and then drive away again so that's literally everything for this video I hope you got it all set up if you've got any questions just let me know in the comments or message me on Instagram at gad.games so leave a like if you liked dislike if you didn't and subscribe if you want to see some more. I'll speak to you in the next one. Bye.